make sure it's working. So it works about a three foot circle. Oh, whoa. Hey, Josh just caught this. That was latched. That I, was I latched. I myself latching that. Someone did a little upside down cross on it. I did do that. What is up, guys? Welcome back to our Southern Afterlife Adventure. Guys, tonight I'm back here at Elkmont with John. It is pitch black out here, guys. And I'm standing right in front of the crazy haunted cabin where I saw a lady staring at me through the window. Now, behind me is another cabin where I had a crazy experience. I had a door slam on me in here. And uh, people have reported seeing things crawl up the walls. And John has had experiences in that cabin as well. I don't know what's going on with the history of that one. But guys, some of these are off limits. They're roped off. They're still working on them. But a lot of them are open. So we're going to go through them tonight. Do some investigating. Can't wait. Let's do it. Alright guys, so basically what happened was I came out of this house after that door slammed on me. And I stood on the front porch, and I looked up, and I saw a woman staring at me out of that window there. After I just had all the crazy experiences in that cabin. So I was like, it's kind of strange that someone's in there. Now, mind you, this was when this cabin was closed off. It was before they worked on it. Nobody was allowed in there. Well, I'll show you why it was so bizarre here in a second. Once you get inside it. There's no floor. See, there's beams here, but there's no way that someone could have been Standing up there staring at me. They've done such an awesome job remodeling these things. Still a heavy feeling in here. Did you? I don't like this at all. How far down it is. I just heard something out here, man. Yeah? It's like a metallic sound. Really? Yeah. Look how far up we are. Oh, wow. Okay. I heard a whisper before you came in. Yeah? From out this way. That was that door cracking. Uh-huh. And here's the kitchen. I don't know why I'm nervous on these floors. Yeah, they they just shirred them up, but they still feel they feel weak still. But they shirred it up like I mean it's safe. Look at the the old axe notches. Did you see where they framed off an original part in there? No. You go in the living room and look at the wall, you can see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so these are still the original beams. They just put more uh, plaster in between them. That's pretty cool. This would be amazing to have off the grid somewhere. Oh, yeah. Just a little cabin like this. Be awesome. All right, what I think we're going to do is get some paranormal equipment set it up in here and um we'll see what what kind of responses we can get all right guys so i got the paranormal equipment truck is over there there's absolutely nobody here this whole entire area is actually shut down for the season now um i think it closes november through april so there's literally nobody around for miles right now so it's kind of dumb because if something would have happened, nobody's here to help. But 
That's the risk we take for making these videos. I got one of my new REM pods here. Now, this has never been seen before. I've hinted towards it on like, you know, Twitter, Instagram. But it lights up. It's all rechargeable. It's pretty neat. But I'm gonna set this up in here and hopefully, actually I'm gonna set this up in the room across the hall. That Sounds way there like none of point. us are near it. Sounds like a good point. Definitely no electricity in here. The wires are cut there. I just heard a whisper. Be right there. There's nobody near it. There's Judge. Give him an SLS way too. Quick with a small figure by the fireplace with it in the way. By the fireplace? Uh huh. Can you show yourself again for me? Oh, it's definitely took off. I've also got my Afterlife Energizer. Now, this is an EM pump that I custom build. So I'm gonna turn this on. Set it right there. Now it's silent. No vibrations to it. Just make sure it's working. Oh yeah. So it works by a three foot circle. Dude, dude. Oh, whoa. Wait, Josh just caught this. That was latch. That I, was I latch. I found myself latching that. <laughs> Hello. Bro, there's a... What? Shine, shine your light on the back of the window. But there's like an upside down... Ooh. Someone did a little upside down cross on it. I did do that. Dude, I'm telling you, I latched this. I did it on camera. It was, I as, wish I was recording that. As soon as I turned the EM pump on, it the did. door just opened up like something just walked in. There it goes. There it goes. Latched. Yep, now it's latched. Okay. And there's no way for it to be a crosswind because that door's closed. Can you open that door for me one more time? I'm standing right where I was when it did it. I just got through doing like an SLS sweep and I was just about to start filming again. I was just standing. I just looked up and I saw it coming. I was oh. standing here describing the EM pump, how it works. And then you were recording the whole time. I was. Can you open that door for me one more time? I'd really appreciate it if you would. I'm getting farther away from it. You're at home? Yeah. Sounds like it's coming from the bathroom or something. Yeah, I'm hearing it over my shoulder mm -hmm. here. All right, you keep an eye on the door. I am. Dude. As soon as I started this, that doorknob moved. I was looking down. I would, I, my camera's been on. I didn't see it. I heard it. It was like a click. I see you're trying to open the door. Oh. All right. We got a necrophonic going here. Who's in here with us? I'm here. Us. That was your nice. Yeah. Can you tell us your name? You just. 
Could you repeat that, please? Us. Us, again. Are we in danger here? Who, who opened that door? Help. Say hell? That's what I heard. Hell or help? I hope it was help instead of hell. <laughs> Under bed. There's no bed in here, but they have the bed. What's under the bed? Who opened the door? Mom? Is that what it said? That's what it sounded like. Can you open? Can you open the door again? Something again. I have to listen back. We are not. That was a knock, bro. Yeah, you said my hands are full, bro. <laughs> We're standing still. Who made that knocking sound? Dude. That's footsteps. Yeah. That, that came from out here. Like it's trying to get us to go in there. Hello? Yep. And there's no way out. That was my first thought. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Open the door and be a freaking bear out here. <laughs> I locked the truck, now we're back in here. Just make sure this truck was locked because we heard a loud thud. A couple of them. It's like somebody was getting out of the car. It's strange. But nobody's here. Nobody's up there. We're the only ones here. If you open that door, we'll walk out. It shows like somebody's walking over here. Come on, open the door for us, please. If you want us to leave, open the door. <clears throat> yes, the door. He said the door. Yeah. <laughs> I said no. No? Why not? It said door again. Yeah. I wish it would do that, did it? And see, and that just debunks what we're saying, like, there's no natural explanation. It hasn't been open again. I don't know. Dude, something's moving. That was right behind me. There's, there's, that's where you were standing. Before. I Okay. The floor just creaked where you were. The like, floor just creaked where I was at. Well, we can't get you to do anything here. I'm going to look out on this back door to you. Yeah. Does that sound like it could have been out here? Nothing, Nothing out there? Nothing's out here, man. Oh, bro. Okay. I know you didn't do it. You were right beside of me. I was looking at the porch. Okay, I, that's it. I'm uh, getting my stuff yeah, in there. Let's, let's, let's go to the next hand. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! It opened when we weren't looking. So, oh, what's going on with that door? But as soon as we weren't looking again, it came flying open. We got all of our stuff out of there. Now, the next cabin we're going to is the place that we've all had experiences. Um, other paranormal investigators have come here have had experiences there. And it's quite possibly the darkest energy that's in Elkmont. A lot of people say Elkmont's not haunted, but 
I beg to differ. I've had lots of experiences here. And I have a a feeling that it's more Native American than anything. Because I've seen some creatures. If you if you guys have seen my top five video, it was that cabin right there where something crawled up the wall. I don't know if you can see it from here. <laughs> Who the hell does stuff like that? Idiots. <clears throat> yeah, freaking idiots. I swear if I ever see somebody doing this somewhere like this, I won't keep their ass. Get my ass kicked around. It just infuriates me. Yeah, man. They, they put so much work into restoring these cabins. For us to enjoy. Right. And then you get idiots that come in here and do and that. And do that. Like, I don't care what that is. It's, it's a bunch of stupid. I like it's stupid. It's not even... Uh, never mind. It is strange, though, that they targeted the darkest cabin here, though. This is not the room where we've all had experiences. Did you notice? Old Peter Hill here, how tall he was, and then there's an arrow pointing up like he got even taller. Oh wow. Yeah. That was one tall son of a gun, man. I'm 6'4", and like, we have to hear. Yeah, it been seven foot plus. Me and Bobby's about to say, who are Bobby and Keller? 1990, and then 91, that was the last year the lease was in. I think I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna set my K2 over this one though. So the rim pod up in here. I got that red bottom of the fireplace in there. Okay. So, you hear my You hear me too and it went off at the same time? At the same time? Yes. Can you do that again for us? Alter? Yeah. Oh, wow. Can you set those off again for me? They come from the kitchen. Yeah, something banged out here. Anybody out here? This floor is still soft. You can tell it's been redone, but still soft. I don't see anybody out here. Yeah. They're both going off the same, same time. Same time. Can you set that off again for me? Like I was over here. I didn't get that close. Right. I, I seen where you were at. I had you on camera. Because I was looking That's in here. I'm glad you had me on camera. You just walked in the door and it's over there. It still says altar. Can you do that again for me? Oh, it's blurry. You like playing with those lights down there? They can't hurt you.
I heard a woman whisper yes. Right after I asked if you like those lights down there, I heard yes. I didn't hear it. My ears weren't that good either. Well, I got the new microphone, so hopefully I picked it up. I hope it did. Can you touch those for us one more time? I'd love if you touch it for me one more time. Okay. Thank you. Now, guys, I just want to point out John's over there and um over here. We're each, say I'm moving around. We're each about five feet away from it. Like I'm moving around trying to make it like it's not. Yeah. It's not a vibration thing. No, it's not a vibration thing. It's not every time I walk in that room though, it likes to go off. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna step out. Can you make it go off, please? I don't know, man. It's almost like when you come in, something gets startled and heads that way. Okay. Like it's trying to hide or something. And you're filming me. I'm not yeah. interfering with it. Right. See? It's like moving around you. Are you scared of me? But like, you think... Okay, there goes again. And it's it, making the other one go off too. It is. And if you were setting it off somehow, it would be constantly going off. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if I get any K2 readings out here. My kitchen is where families would have spent a lot of their time. So maybe. We can get some meter readings. If there's anybody out here with me, can you please come touch that green light? And just get close to it. Yeah. Said dead something. Is there anybody out here with me? I think I've got an attachment, dude. Like something's following you, man. Okay, I've got nothing on SLS. Okay. Right. Okay, Who keeps making that alarm go off? Is there something bad following us? No, you're not wearing like a nylon jacket or nothing that's going to cause like extra static or... I don't 
don't get it, dude. Maybe something is attached to you. Maybe get some fabric softener or something. No. Or static. I don't, I don't, I'm hoping that's what it is, John. Because, I don't know. Let me make sure I get everything out of here. But, all right, we're really gonna move on now. Just turned my camera on. John's walking up to the little cabin up there. But I swear I just saw something black out. That sign down there at the end. I see my camera's getting all kinds of blurry. It's something blacked out that sign. Like there's a shadow walking in the road. Whatever it was, it was huge. There's nothing down there. But that's the way, that's the direction we gotta walk because my truck is up there. All right guys, this little cabin behind me here was actually built for a little girl who had passed away before it was completed. So we're gonna go in there and check that out. And um, it's, it's rumored that she haunts it. I don't know, it, there's definitely a weird feeling in there, but let's go check it out. I'm not gonna hurt you. What happened, bro? As soon as I walked in the door, yeah, I had distinct little girl's voice. It goes, hi. Really? Really, I heard it. Like, I heard it. I hope my camera picked that audio up. That was nuts. Okay. And you, you checked back here? There's nothing back there. I checked. Man, that was crazy. I can't believe I heard that. No, definitely nothing back here. Anyways, there's, there's a fun little toy sitting there on, on the fireplace. Can you go and touch that for me? You'll make it light up and it, all kinds of cool colors. And it will not hurt you. And we won't hurt you. We're just here to talk to you. Have you been following us around here today? I just saw a face in this window. There's a face looking at me right through here. I'm gonna go check around back real quick. Make sure, make sure there's nobody out here. There was a face looking at me in that window. I think I did. Just wanna make sure there's nobody standing back here. I mean, it's possible that someone could be standing here. This one's not off the ground like the others. Yeah. <clears throat> There's definitely nobody here. I just like to check to make sure, you know. Well, yeah, you got to. The little little well actually have plumbing. <clears throat> oh, 
We're back. Can you touch one of these devices for us? Did you hear that? Yeah. That sounds like a whimper. Caress. <laughs> caress? It says caress. Go ahead and caress that box on the floor. <laughs> need to put that on t-shirt, Josh. <laughs> Go ahead and caress that box on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Gently. Gently caress. Caress that That's box. That's what I say about my like button. Gently caress it. Don't smash it. Yeah. Take care of your like buttons. Let's go ahead and take my like button out to dinner. It enjoys a nice steak. Can you make a sound for us? That was a sound. It was. Are you scared of us? Is your name Monica? Can you make a sound if your name's Monica? I keep hearing, he hearing like talking. I do too. Like behind the wall. There's something knocked on the wall. See if this is what it sounded like, bro. Uh, yeah, that's what it sounded like. So someone knocked on the side of the wall. Are you knocking on it down? No. My hand's in my pocket. I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, same here. I just heard like a. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Did you hear it? Really? I thought you was like like. No. Well, it was like that. I tapped once and you said yes, that was it. And I put my the, hand in my pocket. I thought that was it. Then this faint tapping started. Or. Well. If you're not on communicate with us, we're gonna leave you alone and move on. If there's anything you'd like to say or. You know, please touch one of these devices. Let us know you're here. It's weird, dude. She said hi when I walked in here. I hear her talking, but it sounds like she's talking to someone else. Yeah. Maybe she's just residual. It's possible. It's just residual energy. But I don't understand how maybe she was here while it was being built. Yeah, and, and they've and, re you see they've redone some of these logs. But I'm just thinking if she passed away before it was completed, her residual energy would have to come in while it was being built. Yeah. Because you think someone hand carved all yeah. this wood. Yeah. So this this must have taken a year or, or more. Well, his, yeah, it's handcrafted. Like he put a lot of love into this. I mean that's a newer roof. Yeah, they redid the roof and yep. replaced what they had to replace. It was completely rotten. But just like the other cabin, you can see like some of the original stuff and some of the new stuff. I don't know. I don't either, man. All right, I guess we'll move on to the next. We got a lot to cover. Yep, and battery life is getting weak. Let's pack it up in here. So as soon as we walked out of the, the little cabin. John was standing here and it looked like a gigantic winged figure just like swarmed around him and then took off that way. Dude, it was quick. It was quick, but I saw a wing and I, I don't know if it's some peripheral matrix thing or what, but dude, it was creepy. Well, that's that's always been my suspicion of this place. My, you know, well, we have our fair share of wings. My guess. 
Yes. I don't know. But my feeling in this place is that it's Native American. Yeah. Like there's something here. I don't know. Like Skinwalker ish. <gasps> what the hell was that? As soon as I said that, it was like a, a weird cackle. So we said Skinwalker. Doing it again. It is. We need to work our way towards the truck we in case do. we gotta get out of here. Okay, guys. So, the oh, oh, dude, dude, dude. What? What is it? I just heard it. Oh, come from the woods. It was a woman. What Dude. am I hearing? All right, guys, we're working our way back to the truck. Our batteries are dying. It's stupid cold out here tonight. My light just died. I, I'll be your light because I got. I thought you turned your light. I, I thought you turned your light off. off. All right. Hurry up before we have a light. Yep. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, this is it. I don't have a light, so I can't forward face. But we're making our way to a truck. We're definitely going to come back. If you want to see a part two and maybe us investigate the rest of the cabins, hit that thumbs up, drop a comment, and um, we'll do it. But we got a lot of cool things coming up this year. And I can't. So excited to get things rolling. But thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all take care.